A woman who found her passion after retirement now travels the country. At 95 years old, she's known as the grandmother of Juneteenth. She shares her story with our Mike Glover in tonight's Something Good. Opal Lee is a retired school teacher who was determined to see Juneteenth a federal holiday. And she says her passion was instilled in her at a very early age. I guess it's in our DNA. You just got to help where you can. And whatever you start, you better finish it. So when she picked up the torch to make Juneteenth a national holiday, she wasn't looking to become a national symbol. This is not a me thing. This is a we thing. She started by getting signatures for a petition to take to Congress. With the help of Pete Diddy, we did a million five hundred thousand signatures that we took to Congress. Cities all over the country began organizing marches for the Juneteenth holiday and requested Miss Opal's presence. I was invited all over the United States. She was 89 years old when she set out to walk from her home in Fort Worth, Texas to Washington, D.C. in September of 2016, finally arriving in January of 2017 to stand with President Biden as he signed into law the bill to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. To be in the White House with the president and the vice president and all those people from Congress, I wanted to do a holy dance, but my kids say when I try, I'm twerking. The bill is passed. And as we sat down for this interview, another big announcement was made. Well, the people here just learning about it, but I've known that I'm up for the Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize. And I'm delighted. Now, at 95, Miss Opal has received numerous honors. Currently, her efforts are focused on a Juneteenth museum just down the road in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm Mike Glover for Oklahoma Zone News 9.